So if you guys saw my last progress video on the Iron Man series, you would have seen that we got our, a lot done. We got our Amulets of Glory to start it off. We got 1300 total level, 60 range, 60 fletching, uh, 40 farming, 65 woodcutting, and a bunch of other good quests and levels that are pretty important for us. So now what we're going to do to start it off with a nice little bang is we're going to do the Morning's End quest line. And to start that off, we're actually going to do Regicide. We started it a while ago. I think it's just something to do with like a quest that you complete and a letter gets delivered to you. So then you start... Oh, it's from Underground Pass. Um, a letter gets delivered to you and then you just randomly start Regicide from there. So we're going to do that and then we're going to move on to Roving Elves and so on and so forth until Morning's End Part 2 is done. The reason I want to get this over with is because I know when I have like 200 plus quest points, I'm not going to want to do this awful quest i'm kind of in the mood to get a pretty long and challenging quest out of the way so we're gonna go do that and let's start it off with regicide okay so here we are about to finish roving elves it took a little bit longer than i actually anticipated but that's only because i uh actually um had to go fish food and whatnot i didn't have any food whatsoever to fight this um this giant and whatnot sorry i'm trying to just make sure I choose the right one because we're going to want to go with the shield uh, even though I want the bow I think the shield will benefit us whoops alright finishing up this first part of morning's end it was really long I guess but that's to be expected so there's that done now for the worst quest in my opinion of the game let's go get it done <sighs> okay we are done with this quest. 10 out of 10. Probably the most annoying quest on RuneScape. I'm very happy to be done with it. I honestly thought that it would be worse um, for the first part of it where you have to like solve the maze and whatnot. That actual annoying part about the quest honestly it was gathering all 50 items. It was just so long and unneeded. But whatever. I just want to give a shout out to Slayer Music with a Q on YouTube. His guide so much better than um the other guy that i watched on my main it was very easy to follow and i got it done in probably the whole quest in probably 45 minutes minus that you know list of 50 items but with that i am probably gonna go to bed now so i will probably start up with some slayer tomorrow or something and take a break from questing so catch you guys in a bit okay doing some preparation here for recipe for disaster we have to get the golem and then the Shadow of a Storm done, and also the Legends quest, and I'm going to do the Shadow of the Storm right after this one, and then right after that I'm going to go do um, the Legends quest. So here's the Golem done, let's go get Shadow of the Storm. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is actually the final boss battle of this quest. This is really nice to have this quest out of the way and whatnot. I mean, I know it's not done just yet, but here is the last boss battle. That should be it. Sweet. Yep, I remember doing this on my main. I killed it all within like, you know, maybe 10 seconds because I did this closer to 100 combat, like mid 90s or close, like, I don't know. I don't remember. It was really high level, so it was very easy. But yeah, so there's the, um, there's the last boss complete and I'll meet you guys once we're actually completing the quest. Here we are about to complete the quest and, uh, I guess you get four skills that you can, um, uh, or not. So I kind of screwed up the recording. I already gave him the totem and whatnot, as you see there in the notes. Uh, sorry. But I guess you get four skills that you can choose XP in, and we're going to throw it all on Herblore. I guess that's an option, because as an Iron Man, Herblore is the most annoying 
skill to train yourself that and farming in my opinion but there we go for 46 let's uh keep throwing it on herb lore where are we at here 47 keep going oh i almost oh 48 can we get to 49 and 49 herb lore that is really nice to see so there we go legends quest is well should be complete and uh oh there we go and overall really fun quest to do i mean it's long but again big shout out to slayer music uh i would um i would recommend that you go check him out on youtube his guides are very easy to follow and i honestly i barely hit pause the only times i had hit pause on his quest guide is when i because as an iron man i don't have a stamina or i can't make a stamina at least not for a while so i had to like you know walk there and whatnot but overall easy quest 10 out of 10 recommend get it done as early as possible because i'm only at level 78 and i have legends quest done and probably tomorrow or something i'll have recipe for disaster done so really ha really hyped for that and i just can't wait to get all these quests done so i'm gonna go do uh let's see what do we have next to do I'll probably do Temple of Icov or something. I still need to get a U short bow, so I might start Recipe for Disaster to actually get Evil Dave's dungeon open so I can start boosting skills. Yeah, because I'm going to go do that. So I'll see you guys once I have that part of the quest done. Okay, so there we go. We finally have Temple of Icov done. Not that bad. I mean, it took about an hour to get the boost that we needed to make the U short bow, but other than that, not bad. It took about five minutes to complete the quest, so. Now on to Desert Treasure. Let's go do it. Okay, everybody. So we've made it to the center. I'm sorry I didn't record the boss uh, fights and whatnot, but I was just too focused. And uh, it was kind of hard for me. I've never done it on an Iron Man nor, you know, a low-level account. So I guess we just talked to this guy. I can't remember. It's been a while. And we finished the quest. So this, yes. All right, sweet. There we go. Desert Treasure is now complete. And to my knowledge, we are RFD ready minus the cooking. So. I'm probably going to go get like 67 cooking, and I'll see you when I do that. So I forgot to record me actually fee freeing Evil Dave and also freeing um the god, not the goblin, we're doing the goblin right now, and um freeing the dwarf, but from now on I'm going to record every single time that I am freeing somebody in this room. So let's go ahead and free the goblin. We'll be done with this subquest. There we go. Now let's move on to Pirate Pete. And here we are about to rescue Pirate Pete. Oh, all right, I was afraid that I was going to eat that. I almost did last time. Let's use it on him, and there you go. That subquest is now complete. Next, we will move on to... Here, let me check the guide that I'm actually using. Uh, the Lumbridge Guide, so we're going to do that now. And back with another completed subquest. This one actually took all of five minutes. It really didn't take long. It probably took longer to gather the stuff than... To actually complete the subquest so here we go let's use it on this guy and there we go now the lumberage guide is free let's move on to evil dave i already did that one so the next one would have to be scratch uglogwe so let's go do that one all right and now we have another completed subquest so oh let's not eat that <sighs> Everything that involves food, I swear I almost eat with this quest, but let's use it on him, and there we go. Now we have, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this guy's name, Ugly. We're going to say Ugly. Scratch Ugly. He is now freed, and we are going to move on to Cer Ceramic Vars, and once he is done, we actually will have to get our cooking up for King Awawoge, or however you say his name. So, yeah, I'm going to go work on that now. And here we are about to finish ceramic bars or ceramic bars. I don't know how you actually say that, but anyway, let's go ahead and use the whatever it's called. Bruley Supreme. Let's use that on him and we are done. Now the last is King Awoge. Guess well, actually, I can do it right now. I got my cooking up to sixty seven since the last time you've seen an update and now we can just boost to it, so I'm going to get it done right now. So, be back in a second. Okay, so I just freed Awawoge, and uh, there we go. Now that that's complete, let's move on to the boss battles. I'm going to record and speed up each individual boss battle, so let's give it a go. Okay, second boss battle here. Let's get it going.
Okay, so here we go. He got the next boss battle. Thank you, Tay, for that. Yep. Uh, let's freaking let's get it. Okay, so here we go. He got the next boss battle. Thank you, Tay, for that. Uh, yep. Let's freaking let's get it. Well, there's that boss battle down. That was 400 million times easier than I remember it. On my main, I have no idea what exactly I was doing, but it wasn't that easy. I had to use, like, four restores, maybe more. I can't remember. It was a while ago, but yeah. So there we go. Let's go get the rest done and over with. Here we go. Fourth boss. Hopefully it's just as easy as the last one. I'm ready. That should be the battle. Okay, that wasn't hard very or too hard, so step out here, replenish ourselves. And I'm gonna gear up for the next battle, so see you in a second. So I've failed this boss battle like two times now. Hopefully the third time's the charm on the home world of three eighty six and I just really wanna get this done because I'm tired of this quest. Last boss battle, the, as I said, the Culinaromancer himself. This should be 40 times easier than the rest. I guess he does hit pretty high, but he's not hard to beat, so let's go. I know I'm wearing a goofy setup as well, but oh well. This is what we're going to do it with. One more Hickmon. There we go. We now have Recipe for Disaster complete. It's a big achievement for our account. Um, I've only done it on level 78. So there we go. That's a big achievement. Never done that before. I think my main was like around 90-ish. Closer to 100 when I did this. So it's nice to get this done on a lower level account. And there we go. We got a 20k XP lamp. Full access to the Culineromancer's chest, which means Barrow's Gloves and one quest point so i'm probably gonna go make some money now i'm dirt poor because i spent all my money on well a lot of crap and this quest so let's go make some money all right so here we are We're about to buy barrows gloves uh, after a long grind and finally getting a lot of cash i bought a lot of law runes and a couple blood runes so that the next task is which i'm gonna do i'm going to get 50 construction and then make my portal room so I can have a lot of chambers and whatnot chambers teleports so buy these really quickly uh, let's and let's start with the construction grind so I'll update you guys in a minute so a few things coming in here first of all we got 1350 total level second thing we got 50 construction which is nice and also I will 
show you in a minute. We built the portal room. We're just going to go get the materials for the actual portals now. So we're going to need some teak logs, which I thought I had a few. Oh, I have a couple. I have enough for two portals, which we're going to need to get some anyway. So I'm going to get the materials, and then I'll be back once I actually have everything to make all the teleports. Okay, well, I tried to build the portals all, and I forgot my teak log, so I went back, got that, and then I'm in a Skype call right now. My friend called me as I was trying to redo this clip, so actually, this is really simple, and I'm just going to go A is going to be Portal Varrock, B is going to be Portal, where is it, Carol, there we go, and then C is going to be portal where do i want where do i want ooh you know or art ooh this is x ooh i don't know what do we do right now i'm going to go correct so you do not have the recited incantation no whatever that seemed like such a good idea right now so what we're actually going to do is lunar isle too there's too many useful <sighs> what do i do I don't know. We're gonna go, you know. Uh, pfft, okay, no, we're not. We'll just do freaking. What are our choices? Our dune. There. Woohoo. And here we go. There's our portals. So I've set a little goal for myself. I think I'm gonna try and get 50 um, farming. Uh, one of the requirements for Fairy Tale Part 2 actually is 49 farming. And just me with even numbers, it's just. I would let, like to get 50 right now, and actually there is a mini game in the house of Hosidius and the Great Karend, which this is called Tithe Farming, which is what I'm doing. I've heard you can get up to speeds of, what am I doing, of like 100k an hour, which I almost guarantee that's not the case with my level, but I probably could get closer to like 30 or 40k an hour, which is pretty good considering I'm only like 42 farming or so. And also, another reason I would like to get this up is because you actually need 47 for, uh, farming for the, what is it, the can Canifus, not Canifus, the Mauritania Easy Diary. So we're going to get this done, and I'll be back once I have actually achieved 50 farming. Okay, so this is the last, whatever you want to say, Gala, whatever plant that is. As soon as I turn this into this sack, I should have plenty to get me to 50 there we go. I received full. So, yep, 50 farming. That's really nice. Um, I think I said that I actually needed fi or 49 for the Mauritania Easy Diaries. It's actually 47. For whatever reason, I thought it was 49. But anyway, I wanted to get 50 just because I like all my stats being above 50. And as you see, we are pretty close. All we have below it is rune crafting and and uh, herb lore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go... Um, actually start on some slayer and get my stats up and then hopefully get my ranged up and then start barrows pretty soon can't wait okay here we are all we have to do is talk to Les saber and we should be able to get the legs so um i'm only actually going to get one pair of these because the easy legs aren't really that useful so i'm uh i'm probably actually going to do the one quest i need and then get the mediums so I'm not even going to bother with getting like five pairs or whatever because they're going to be gone in a minute. So anyway, let's go get started with that one quest. So there's the Haunted Mine quest complete. Um, now that we have done this and the Dwarf Cannon, I think we can do the Mauritania Easy. So Easy, we already did that. The Medium Diary. So I'm going to go complete that and then I'll catch you once I'm done with that. Okay, so now we have the Medium Diaries complete and... I think we, yeah, it's the same person we just talked to the Saber, and we have our Mauritania legs too. Now, I don't think this lamp, I put everything on Herb Lords because it's the most painful to train. I don't know if there's like a mini game or whatever to train it, but to my knowledge right now, there's not. So I throw every bit of XP onto it, and is that, oh, it is enough to get us 50, so now I might as well just come over here while still got everybody on the mic. Do, 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 do. As awkward as this is going to be, because i got to trudge along to a bank, even though it's two steps for me. I'm just trying to fill up the space with talking, because I can. Now we can use our recipe for, dis eh, recipe for disaster lamp, which is 20k's worth of XP, 
on Herblore. It w I was waiting to get 50 Herblore so we could actually do that, and now that got us to 52. So two levels. That's really nice. So now that we have that done, I think we're going to go make some more food, fish some lobsters because we have none. I screwed up Tarn's Lair quite a bit trying to get to the Terror Dog, even though it was very, it's very simple. I just kept screwing up. So now we're going to go to Catherby and fish some lobs and then continue on this layer grind. Uh, we only need one more attack level and then we'll actually have the required stats to get into the Warriors Guild. So this clip's going on long. I'm going to go do that now. Okay, in a few hits here, we will be... Uh, okay, never mind. I guess I didn't even get time to put that out. But now we are actually 65 attack, as you saw there, which means now we can actually get into the Warriors Guild, which is really nice because now we have really cheap sources of food. We can, we can make pineapple pizzas, we can buy the potatoes with cheese and whatnot, and it's all really, really cheap. And another good side about that is that we can get the Rune Defender, and by Rune, I mean Dragon, obviously, because no, who uses a Rune Defender anymore? I don't know why I even thought of that. But anyway, I'm going to finish this task and then head over to the Warriors Guild and actually get myself the Defenders, so see you in a bit. All right, everybody, and with that, I think I'm going to cut the video here. I just finished up a farm run. As you can see here, I leveled up my farming to 51. Um, I probably need to do some farming, uh, probably get it to like 55, so it's easier to boost up to 57 so that I can get Fairy Tale Part 2 done, which will probably be done in the next episode or so. Not sure yet. I, I might take a pretty long break from questing because in this episode, we had a lot of quests done, so... I'm just going to take the time to thank every one of you for watching my videos as usual. Thank you for the support you show me. Um, if you do want to see more frequent Iron Man episodes, I can try and put weekly ones out. Just let me know in the comments if you'd enjoy that. But yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.